Swole Benji here. So, uh, one of the things that everyone always asks is, what weapon should you use for swords? What weapon should you use for axes? Like, th they'll pick a weapon and they're like, out of all these weapons in this category, which weapon should I use to level? And my answer today for swords, it's going to be the carving sword. Now, I know the clarent blade is really fast at clearing. It also is a one-handed weapon, which lets you use a crypt candle, which increases your specter jacket damage. But hear me out. Carving sword... The thing with Carving Sword is, it's one of the smoothest weapons in the game to use. I know that sounds weird, like smooth? What are you talking about? Let, let me kind of show you what's going on with Carving Sword, okay? I'm going to select this monster, and I'm going to spam up my spacebar, which is the auto attack button. Now, look at my character when I do this. Like, see how fast I can move after auto attacking? That's really, really smooth. Like, as soon as an attack is committed, I can immediately start moving again. Now, if I were to pick a weapon like uh, like the regular crossbow, it's going to set me there and I'm going to be standing in place for a while before I can move again. And, then, and another thing, the Q ability, Heroic Cleave, this thing is, oh, it's so smooth. Like, I'm running forward and I swing... And I keep running forward, and I there you barely stop. You stop for like 0.1 or two seconds. It's crazy how how look like how much movement of freedom how freedom of movement you have while you're able to AOE monsters, right? Also, another cool thing is you see these little sword stacks swarming around me. Now these increase my movement speed and auto attack speed or damage too. And it's auto attack speed or damage? I forget. Uh, it's been a while. Yeah, attack speed. These things, like, I, I can, I'm running by default so much faster. And check this out, the E ability, it's a dash forward. It, it's going to hit everything in its path. For W, I can just increase my movement speed. That, for, for solo tier 5 dungeons, movement speed is absolutely king. Like, I could kill this thing in one Q with a crossbow and keep moving, sure. But you wanted to level swords, you didn't want to level crossbows, you don't care about crossbows. So I'm giving you the solution with swords. So the build is the same build that I always shill, which is the, the Stalker Hood, the Spectre Jacket, the Royal Sandals, and we're using Carving Sword with Carolion Cape. So the way it works is you're going to activate your boots, and then you're going to activate your armor, which is going to roast everything. You're going to press Q near the mobs. They should die. When you're at a boss, you're just going to Q it down to 50%, press D, press E, it's dead. Like, it's that simple, and then you, ooh, look at that. This is a yellow zone dungeon, it just gave me 60,000, or 50,000, I don't know, I, did, I alluded too fast. It, it's more than 44,000. Like, mobs like this, this would normally give players trouble, and yes, I am using 8.3, 8 I know. If you're grinding dungeons, you would want to use the best stuff anyway. Like, I'm going to run up, I'm going to press Q on them, I'm going to press E on them, they're mostly dead, press one more Q, they're dead. They're, they're dead so fast, and yeah, my stuff's on cooldown, that's fine, but I can, I can kind of spin and move at the same time. Like, these rats, I didn't have to stop very long for them. Like, how cool is that? I can spin, do a little jig, and I have passive move speed, so I'm constantly running forward. I press W to can keep my stacks up. That's why I'm using W. Any other skill, yes, I could AoE them down, but in this case... My stacks just fell off, but I'm about to hit these guys with the Carolion Cape twice. Look how fast they just died, man. Look at look how fast they died. And we don't have our armor for the boss fight, and that you know that's fine. That happens. It's whatever. Like we armor shredded him with our E. Our E ability is a dash move forward cleave that also armor shreds. I want to armor shred him now with the helmet. Look at our auto damage. We're hitting for 261. Our Qs are hitting for well, it was 400 something, but. Like, it's, it's just a smooth weapon, you can dance around, you feel like a sword fighter. You feel like one of those cool guys on TV that is just so cool with the sword. The, look, look, look at this sword. You feel like Tide Titus, Titus from Final Fantasy X. You feel like Cloud Strife from Final Fantasy VII, right? And if you get bored of running slightly faster... Let me just loot this real quick. Uh, 5k. Blech. If you get, if you get bored of the ruddy speed... The W skills on swords are some of the coolest. The parry strike. This thing, it makes you immune to everything and anything that deals damage to you during its parry. 
you you reflect it back and you do a six spin move that hits everything around you like you could use this for trash clear it's really good you could use splitting slash for trash clear you can use all like interrupt is really good to increase your auto attack damage do you remember when we like earlier we were auto attacking for like 200 something damage we would be adding 40 additional damage if we had this ability active that that's like Crazy, that's almost as hard as a spear autos, and we attack way faster than a spear. I mean, look at that. It's just, swords are amazing for leveling. Now, I bet you're wondering, you're wondering, can this solo group dungeons? The answer is, it kind of can. Uh, the really big beefy mobs, like if you try to triple pull giants, you, you're gonna die. I'm sorry, but like swords, the, the cool thing with swords, now here, here's how you can kind of do it. It's really hard. You can do it with the Hellion Jacket. You're going to use the passive increased defense. Every five attacks, you get 88 damage res resistance two seconds. That'll help you solo group dungeons if you absolutely must, but it's so much slower than the other weapons I've, I've, I've recommended on this channel. That's why swords, if you're going to level them and you want to level them without using a speed clearing build and use fame credits, which some of you object, that's fine, then you would go swords. It, they do decent damage. They're smooth. <laughs> like you can just walk through packs you can just walk through the over overworld and just uh just fight things right if someone dismounts on foot and chases you hey look you run faster than them oops now they're rooted and now you're gone and then you dash away you use your boots you dash away like have you ever seen the youtuber equort okay that guy alone should make you want to use swords you should be wanting to do swords like here's a group dungeon Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, bros. Uh, the swords, if you're if you're 1 versus 10, this is the weapon you want to use. You could immune all their damage. You could do so much crazy things. All right. This is a doggo room. Uh, they're pretty weak doggos. We can we can take all the doggos. Rottweiler. You guys ever just have the the craving to say Rottweiler? All right, we're going to deflecting spin. We're going to double Q. Look at all the dead doggos. Don't you just feel bad for the poor puppers? Well, they, they bit us first. You know, it's only right. It's only, you know, we're allowed to defend ourselves. But see, we can, we can kill we can kill group dungeon mobs. It's not so bad. So preferably, I'd, I'd like Iron Will because this increases your defense. So, again, I still use Iron Will. I think it's the best thing to use because it increases your run speed in solos, and in group dungeons, it increases your defense. And defense is super duper important. Alright, let's go. Let's kill some big titty goth GFs. Which one, boys? Left or right? I'm kind of digging the girl on the right because she's got that golden belt. You know, the one on the left, the. Oh shit, I'm dying. I'm dying, boys. <laughs> And uh looks like I was too busy gawking at the ladies to uh notice that they were they had the upper hand. So again, it's it's a little risky <laughs> if you're doing the group dungeons, but we're gonna try it again, guys. And uh Vergana dungeons in general are pretty tough for group dungeons anyway. I'm gonna be real with you. But yeah, I'm digging that golden belt she's got. I don't know why she's wearing it though with a dress. It's a little weird, but whatever. Hey, you do you, girl, right? <laughs> There we go. We, we we got three stacks immediately. We pressed our E. We're going to armor shred, shred them now. And see, we can kill them. And we can kill them even better with the defensive version by using the Hellion Jacket. We could use the Scholar Cal, and we could use the Guardian Boots. And that is going to allow us to be way more defensive with our, uh, with our fighting and have way more sustain. One thing that's really annoying to fight in the Black Zones are Swordsmen with Hellion Jacket. Because they just don't die. They literally run away until their Hellion Jacket comes off cooldown. Right? And, and then they just press R on you. <laughs> and they get all their life back. Kind of like what I'm doing to the mobs here right now. Like, like, you know, like two spear guys fighting a swordsman. Just imagine yourself, you're in this epic, you know, swordsman duel. You, you got your sword out and you're like, you're like a, a Mordhau master. A, a chivalry medieval warfare combat lord, right? Look at that. See, you can do it. You can do it. It's just not as fast as the other builds. Anyway, I'm Swole Benji. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay swole. Make sure you return your shopping carts, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, lads.